Hello, welcome back to another episode of ABCD. Well, today I'm not going to really discuss any topic about research. But today I want to let you know how to make the entire three years of your PhD life into a disciplined life. Now, when we talk about a PhD researcher, we want the researcher to be very much focused on a discipline. Now, what does that discipline mean? Well, we know you may be preoccupied with a lot of activities. You are doing research, you are attending conference, you are writing a paper, you are collecting your data. And if you are not a full-time student, you have on the top of it your jobs. Now, your job, your family life, your conference, your data collection, your article writing, your academic writing, your reading of the literature, Oh, it's a lot of work to be done in these three years. Now, how to make your life work balance? Well, remember, there are all the advantages in the world if you become a graduate on time, like me, okay? Myself, I have done my graduation on time on my PhD. Well, keeping in view all the aspects, I had my family life, I had my articles to be written, I had my conference to be attended. I talked about uh, in different places in the seminar. I presented my paper. I had my jobs to do. I had my kids to take care of. I had my family to work upon. But again, at the end of the day, I ensured that within exactly three years, I have finished my thesis writing, went for a viva and went for a graduation. Now, how it is done? It's about you. It's about you, how you manage your time. Make it very systematic. Make the life very systematic. Make the work very systematic. Plan your work. Make priorities in your life. Yes, make a schedule. What are the things that you will be covering in this month? Say for example, within next two weeks of time, I want to get done with this and this. I will start this in next three weeks time, a proper Gantt chart for yourself and ensure that you follow and stick to your Gantt chart, number one. Number two, another important part is you have to remember that you must be willing to sacrifice a lot of things in your life when you start a PhD program. Well, this sacrifice is not eternal, it's for a time being a momentary period just to ensure that you are done with your write-up and everything for that period of time. You have to remember since you have committed yourself, enrolled yourself into the program, make sure you pass out on just right time and put on your CV that you are a G-O-T, a graduate on time, which is so important. Make your discipline, have yourself disciplined, make yourself committed that yes, I want to do it. If you are committed, you will definitely find a way to solve it. You should know when is the right time for me to do my first paper that is a conceptual paper. Maybe once you are done with your literature, think of writing the conceptual paper. Once you have collected your data, Think about writing the empirical paper. Now you have the data, you will be doing the analysis chapter, so it's all going in a synchronized manner. Attend international conferences. Present your papers over there. Let people read yourself. Let people read what you are writing. And don't forget that during the PhD, whatever articles you publish, you must write in that this article is abstracted or abstracted from, or extracted also, is extracted from my PhD thesis titled this, carried out at this university. So that gives you even more credential on your paper, right? Again, at the end of the day, you must be thankful that you can complete on time if you are just a bit more disciplined. Of course, you can do it in seven years, you can do it in five years, you can do it even in, you know, longer than that. But what's the point? By the time you want to 
finish a PhD thesis in more than three years, so the problem with which you started, that problem may not be there anymore. Or maybe someone else have already solved that issue. So be focused with your time framework so that you finish on time and be a proud graduate and a graduate on time, right? I will be talking a bit more on this, how you make yourself more disciplined later on in my chapters. And one thing remember, at a moment, a time comes when you really don't want to write anything. Your mind has got totally toasted. Believe me, at that time, don't bother to think of research. Take a rest, take a break, chill out, and then start once again. That's the art of doing your work. And that's why you see, when I have done my this channel of A, B, C, D, anybody can do, for example, the research methodology, I have ensured that all the videos I put in are exactly not related to my studies and the research. At times, I've got some entertainment, some vlogs, I move around some part of the world, I do some videos. Why? Because I have a lot of my people, a lot of my uh, researcher, who are subscriber to my channel. All the time, I don't want them to see that talking about studies, framework, research, methodology, sampling, no. At times, it's a break. Look into something new you like, for example. And that's how, that, I mean, the combination of my channel is like this. Partly videos of the interest place that I visit, and partly it is concentrating the journey of your academic writing, the research part of it. Blended, you really become a truly global researcher. Well, if you think the video was helpful, do share this among your friends who find it difficult how to make the social life balance of disciplined PhD time. And then, of course, don't forget to share, subscribe, and like my channel. If you think it was helpful, so go forward for it. Until next time, with some eventful information, I will see you around. Ciao.